on December 14th, we have our new moon solar eclipse in Sag. So as you know, we are in eclipse season. We just had the full moon lunar eclipse in Gemini. And, you know, generally speaking, lunar eclipses remove something out of our life, remove obstacles, remove blockages. Solar eclipses have the tendency to gift us with something, to really reward us for our efforts. Now, a new moon is classically a point of manifestation. It's when we're setting new seeds and new intentions for the next cycle. Now, this new moon in Sag is taking place at 23 degrees, and this is really going to offer us a fresh slate. This is about new beginnings. This is preparing us for a great change. Now, because it's a new moon, and technically a new moon is a dark moon, it's hidden from us in the sky, there are going to be some details that aren't exposed yet at this particular time. But we are initiating a brand new lunar cycle that will take about six months to come to full completion. So this is going to be a high time for planting seeds of new intentions and tapping into that Sag energy. It's all about learning. It's all about new adventures. It's all about travel. It's all about belief systems, that higher realm of philosophy. And so because this is a Sag event, we have to remind ourselves that the lunar nodes are on this Gemini Sagittarius axis. This is our life lesson for the next year, year and a half. It began back in June, and that was when we had our lunar eclipse in Sag. So we're making some connections here. We have to rewind. We have to go back to June and see what it is that was highlighted for us, the topics and themes that were going on for us. And now is the time to broaden our minds, to really absorb new information, to learn new skills, to connect with a higher belief system. And if nothing else, this particular new moon, this full solar eclipse in Sag is going to show us where it is that we need to abandon fear, where it is that we need to be brave enough to step into brand new territory, where we have to be brave enough to choose a brand new adventure and abandon the old and familiar ways of doing things. Again, 2020 was about the collapse of those old paradigms. And yes, there's a lot of fear associated with change, especially change into a brand new territory, a brand new paradigm, a brand new era that none of us have ever lived through before. But now is the time. We've been preparing for this, not only this year, but for thousands of years. And this particular new moon solar eclipse is going to be aligned with Mercury and the south node. So this is kind of saying, okay, what, it, what have we learned? What new information, what new skills have we learned? And really incorporating that into our day-to-day -day life so that we can use that wisdom to kind of blaze a new path into the future. It's also going to be trining Mars. So this is fire energy on fire energy. Mars is wanting to take the lead, wanting to be aggressive and passionate enough to take that leadership role and really blaze a new path forward. And the new moon will be squaring Neptune as well. So Neptune, again, is about the creative part of us, the spiritual part of us. It's very much about healing. And there is some lies, deception and illusions that have to be revealed in order for us to have the correct information to set new boundaries, to set new parameters on the new path that we're looking to initiate. So overall, the general theme of what this new moon solar eclipse in Sag is going to bring us is it's going to highlight for us where it is that we tend to run away from our problems, that we want to abandon our responsibilities. And mostly of that is just because we have been weighted down so much. We have been held back. We have been restricted. We're so close to all of this new great Aquarian age and era and energy that we want to be free. We want to be liberated. We don't want to be tied down to anything. 
So we're really going to have to do our inner healing work in order to clear the air and make space for a new way of thinking, a new way of envisioning our future and really just broadening our minds and horizons to the more optimistic and confident perspective that most of us have been lacking throughout this year.